welcome back to GP Outdoors. As many of you know, Carol and I decided to take the plunge. We traded in our old bell rider for a tune. If you've done or you're thinking about doing the same thing at some point, please take 10 minutes and watch this video so that what happened to me does not happen to you. So two things, you've probably got a pretty much standard dock. They all usually are, whether they're made of wood or aluminum or other. It's either floating or you've got it on legs on the bottom of the lake. Either way, it's got a deck and like myself, you spent a lot of money putting that rub rail all the way around it so that it would protect the fiberglass of your old bow rider or your fishing boat or whatever type of vessel you had. What I didn't realize is the shape of your pontoon is almost the opposite shape of that old traditional V-hull you had on your old boat. As the tune gets higher above the water, the diameter or the size of it gets smaller. Whereas the old traditional V-hull you had on your bow rider gets wider the higher it is off the water. So this rub rail did a great job of protecting the fiberglass hull on your old V-hull. Is that when you bring that pontoon boat in, it's gonna miss your bumper rail and the shape of the pontoon is gonna find itself underneath the frame of the dock underneath your decking. And that's where all the damage occurs. So the first thing I did is I got really big bumpers or fenders. You call them either one, depending on where you live, but you don't want the small skinny ones that you probably had hanging over your last boat. You need to get the fatter ones, big ones, because that's gonna give you a lot more volume and protection between your pontoon and your dock and or possibly one of your neighbors. Next thing, I grabbed a couple of much larger, deeper rub rails. I cut out parts of the black rub rail that were there, the standard three inch, and I mounted those. I also replaced the corner because as you can see, the one that I've replaced with is much more robust, has a bigger, fatter profile than the old corner rail. So at least in my case on my own dock, that has now provided me enough protection that the tune can't actually creep underneath the deck anymore. It gets stopped there. However, I think it's gonna be different for each one of us. You're just gonna to need to take a, an assessment of where the water line is versus the top deck of your dock, how much distance is there, and whether or not these heavier or larger bumpers or rub rails are gonna help. In some cases, you may have to put a, an additional rub rail down underneath on the frame of your dock to make sure that that tune does not come in contact with the edge or the corner of that frame or any of the structural components if you have an aluminum dock that's sitting on stands or on legs. One other really important issue that I think you need to think about. You're out putting around the lake and as you pass some of your neighbors or your friends, they're probably waving you in for a coffee and to sit on the dock for a while. How are you gonna get into their dock without causing damage? I picked up a few of these pontoon rail fenders. They're clips. I can't remember what make these ones were. They all kind of look the same and as as normal folks, I'm not trying to sell you a product. Take a look on Amazon, pick the ones and the price point that's right for you and give them a shot. You're gonna see that on any of them that you check, there's gonna be some reviews where somebody says, you know, I used it for two months and it cracked and broke in half. Well, for 15, 20 bucks Canadian, that's what's gonna happen, especially if you're leaving it out in the blistering sun all summer long. I mean, it's plastic. They're reasonably inexpensive and I'll show you how they work. They all generally look like this. They come in packs of four. You take as many of these clips as you want and you just push them down on the top rail of your pontoon. That way they're always there. You put as many as you want. Just before you're pulling into your buddy's dock, grab your bumper, drop her down, and she's in. That's it. It's as simple as that. If you want to leave them more permanently, there's a hole in the bottom you can slide your rope up in. And if you want to tie it, you can tie it or you can just lock it into the teeth here. That way you have much more protection when you're rolling into an unknown dock. At the end of the day though, you need that protection. These pontoons damage really easily. And the last thing you want on a brand new boat is a whole lot of scratches, kind of like I have. <laughs> and as I said, you can put as many of these in on either side as you want. That was now I have a quick and easy way of getting that extra protection on the pontoon in the event that you're pulling into your friend's dock and it is too high or it doesn't have a big, large enough rub rail to protect your pontoon. I hope this has all been helpful. Have a great week with your families. Please be kind to one another and I'll see you again right here. I'm Gord Potter and you've been watching GP Outdoors.
Cheers.